So, here's the deal with keeping a mandarin that's a really picky eater. Don't trick yourself. Don't see it eat a piece of frozen brine or a piece of frozen mysis and think you're good. We've made that mistake. And, um... Then lost a little track of a competing fish and realized, oh, mandarin's really not getting enough to eat. What you want to do is just feed them something different. If you don't have live food, I mean, obviously live food, they're always going to eat that. But if you don't have that, go mysis one night, brine the next. They like variety. If you want them to eat twice in the same day, mice just one time, brand the next. I don't think you'll get them to eat anything else. You gotta be mice or brine. But if you have a, uh, oh no, it has to, it has to at least look alive. He'll only take the nice whole mice and brine. But if you have like a some. Or refugium or some kind of pod area. You can come down there with like a little uh, a little suction syringe like this guy right here. Come down in there and get them suckers right out of there. And like okay, so I had an Aptasia eating file fish. Or, where is she? Myrtle. Here she is, sleeping. Right there behind the thermometer. In this tank with the mandarin. There's a mandarin in there, a female mandarin, but she eats pellets, so she's fat and happy. She's she's a freaking she's part of the cleanup crew for God's sake. She is the cleanup crew. I mean she is that is a fat mandarin. <laughs> She's, she's going to be great for breeding. If one day I uh, you know, get to that stage. 
Um, oh, speaking of which, I guess I should update on the uh, curricula. There is my. I'm not sure where her little boyfriend is. Don't see him. Last I saw, he was hanging out by the, uh, by the little overflow thing over there. My has moved. So, if I get them paired off and they're getting along well, I will move them back in here. At which point, hopefully, I will fill this thing up with mysis and or a massive amount of copepods. I haven't decided which. I might just put them in there and let them compete and see which one takes over first. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the pods. I'm pretty sure pods can eat the hell out of some mysis. Yeah, they just like... Like in down here, I had a bunch of mysis one day. And then one day I didn't. I had a bunch of pods. I'm like, oh. Did I miss a war? <laughs> Seems like there was a little war of the crustaceans and the mysis lost. Hello, Snooty. And a snail for my snail. Anyways. Um. So, yeah. Back to the pods. What I would do is you know, get them with this guy in here. And then feed them down into, like, the holes and crannies where Bruce actually can't get so that those pods can try to grow up hiding inside the rocks over here. And, um, Bruce being all photogenic. So he's eating frozen brine shrimp right now. But in several of those cracks and most of what you're seeing is bubbles but some of what you're seeing is actually baby pods that are just kind of swimming around in there i probably put about a hundred or so in there earlier at least once you get them breeding in a sump properly um and you know if you feed your tank phytoplankton that, that helps but you can go and find the little swarms of the babies and just siphon them out and bring them back up to your tank to help feed your mandarin. And that with some frozen brine and mysis can keep you from having to buy live mysis from the store. Even if you have a blue devil that likes to fucking steal food from everyone. Well, she's got three spots on her tail, so she's special. So we tolerate her bitch ass. <sighs> Pretty yellow sponge.
boost as well. None of that camera. So hopefully, I'm going to get my and that little percula in here and create us a new breed of fish. Maybe. If we're very, 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 very lucky. Which we're not. But we're going to try anyway. Um, and then, possibly going to introduce Bruce to Marlena, the female Mandarin, in the tub. And they would most likely just wind up um, doing their spawns in there. And um, I'd have to get my cultures going again to be able to feed baby, uh, baby mandarins for sure. But anyway, that is one happy freaking damsel. Look at that fat ass belly. Bruce, what you doing, man? I think you just ate another branch, huh? Good job. What's up, Bruzy? It's so hard to get him up close to the camera like that. Hey, buddy. Bruce, what you doing, man? Come back and pose for some more still shots. There he goes. I guess I wasted enough of y'all's time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Click the like button for me. Share the video in some saltwater groups or something. I don't know. Y'all take it easy. Don't take it all. Peace.